Hello everyone, this is Entertainment, recovering from an illness I've had for the past few days, which is fan fucking tastic. And today I'm going to be doing a different video, because I'm not going to be trying to crack any jokes or make fun of anyone or have a laugh. Instead, I'm going to be putting in my own honest opinion on a topic which I feel has gotten way out of hand. And I really feel I need to address this. Some of you may agree and some of you may disagree, but quite frankly, I don't fucking care. So early on within the week, I decided to watch the Savage Broadcaster's Savages list, which I'm sure that most commentators would have seen. And I will admit, the majority of it I did agree with. Other parts I disagreed with slightly, other parts I thought was total bullshit. But there was one thing about that list that really pissed me off. And that was that he forgot to put in one thing, which is my reason for making commentaries. And I don't know why he didn't put that in, because quite frankly, I thought that most commentators would have this reason as well. But then again, maybe we're just moving away from this whole damn reason that we make commentaries. You see, commentaries are not a job, alright? It's not a 9 to 5, 5 day a week thing, which you have to produce one once per week, or twice per week, or 5 per month, or anything like that. Commentaries are not something that you're forced to do. It's something that you choose to make. So why does someone like me decide to make commentaries? Because I find them enjoyable to make. I actually love to make commentaries, and that's pretty much my only reason that I make commentaries. And people might say that me enjoying making fun of other people's video is kind of pathetic. Well, in that case, the angry video game nerd, the nostalgia critic, the cinema snob, Linkara, in fact, nearly all of that guy with the glasses, random DCE, nearly every ranter on YouTube, the list goes on. You're also saying that they're kind of pathetic because they do something similar. They make fun of other things. And yes, commentators do have a set of guidelines and rules, but then again, that's the same with anything. If you enjoy playing a game, you at least have to know how to play the game. But not every rule that you hear is pretty much a rule. Let me take, for example, a section from number five from Savage's list, where he says, Be original with your avatar. Don't just choose a Pokemon or anime character. Use someone from a comic, film, TV, or other literature or art form. What makes you the bright star if you do that? What is original is the question. The only way they can actually be original is if you create an original character as your avatar. Using a literature or art or TV or film or whatever as your avatar is exactly the same as using an anime character. And here's the thing, why are people making a fuss over avatars? The avatars are not the ones that make the commentary. They are supposed to represent the people who make the commentaries. For example, me using TK. And you can tell when someone doesn't like making commentaries. You can tell in the tone of their voice. You can tell that they take jokes too literally or take things to heart. You can tell that they don't actually care what the person is saying and make random shit up. These little things can show that someone doesn't really enjoy making commentaries. And they may say that they enjoy commentaries, they really enjoy making them or some shit like that. But when you see that they get pointed out for bullshit or they're giving constructive criticism or whatever, they go on a butthurt little raid and then they quit. So did they really enjoy making them in the first place? Because there are commentators out there who basically get the exact same thing as you, but they, they stay on. Tubers93 is a brilliant example. People have basically made commentaries on him, basically have left comments on his videos saying that they're crap. Even I've made a commentary on him. I made a two-parter. And yet, you know what? He's still on making commentaries. He doesn't care if people think his commentaries are shit. He doesn't care if people make commentaries on his commentaries. He still makes them. And then there are people like Too Funny, who makes a few commentaries, got the exact same treatment as tubers, and then decides to quit. But now let's move on to when people who don't enjoy making commentaries still make commentaries. Why they still make them? I remember Transformer Fan Co's recent retirement video, which happened a few months ago. He basically said that he never enjoyed making commentaries, and the only reason that he did it was for his subscribers. The enjoyment of the subscribers don't mean jack shit if no one's watching your video, you know. The enjoyment of the subscribers should be coming second compared to the enjoyment of the viewer. And you know what? If you quit making commentaries and they unsubscribe to you, then it just shows that they never cared for you at all. 
you are not forced by your subscribers to make these kind of videos you will have a choice whether you want to make them or not and if you don't enjoy them you will have the choice not to make them as the nation Johnny K told me in a Skype chat the best kind of commentator is the commentator who doesn't listen to their subscribers and yes it's nice to know that your subscribers are enjoying your videos but really the first priority is your enjoyment you should be the one that should be enjoying making the videos if you're not enjoying them then you shouldn't really be making them because it's your enjoyment that should come first and sure when I started making commentaries I thought they were an easy subscriber catch but as time went on and I started to notice other commentators and I started making more commentaries. I started to enjoy making these commentaries. I started to enjoy what I was doing. And to this day, that's exactly my reason that I make commentaries. For my enjoyment. And pretty much, I'm going to leave it here. I've pretty much said what needs to be said. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and all my watchers for watching this video. And I'd especially like to thank the Nation of Johnny K, who pretty much helped me with this sort of little video. You can agree, you can disagree, you can like, you can fave, you can dislike, you can comment, you can video response, you can do whatever you want. So, I'll be sure to make more commentaries in the future. But until then, this is Entertainment signing out, and I'm out of here. Peace, all.